Best Irish music on irishradio.org with Jerry Byrne. Irish Radio, I'm Jerry Byrne. I've been speaking to many of the uh, great, the good and the talented of uh, Irish music. I've got a young gentleman who is uh, making waves in music. He's from Clondalkin in Dublin. Um, I'm delighted to say hello to uh, Colm Gavin. Colm, how are you? Jerry, I'm good. How are you doing? Not bad at all. Not bad. Listen, lovely to lovely to, uh, to chat to you. Tell me this. How, how did you get into music? Well, I suppose in my formative years, I studied music through the classical method in the Clondalkin School of Music under the great Peter Stanton. And that would have been when I was about 12 or 13. And then in my teens, I busked on Grafton Street like so many up-and-coming musicians. And uh, while I was in college then, I was in a few different college bands. And in 2014... I made the move to go solo, but I was uh, thrown in at the deep end from the start, I suppose. Right, well done, well done on that. It was a mighty start to, uh, you know, to be in in, in the Clondalkin School of Music. That uh, you know, that's a pr- that's a pretty uh, pretty uh, you know, uh, you got to be pretty talented to be there. Well, it was fairly competitive. My teacher Peter Stanton, you know, he had a very a very archaic method of teaching music, as, like as the classical method can be. For a lot of younger musicians, it can be quite boring to be reading sheet music or studying the intricate aspect of music theory. For me, it was very compelling, and he was my teacher for almost 15 years. Unfortunately, he passed away at the beginning of February of this year, um, but a wonderful guy and a wonderful teacher. Excellent. Excellent. You know, that's, a, that's, a, that's fantastic. And uh, tell me this, uh, what did you go on to then? After, I mean, you, you did the busky and all the rest of it. After college, what did you do then? So in college, I was in a band called Charlotte Palace, and I think I'm the last member of the band who's still in the music business. But in 2014, I went solo, and I brought out my first record called You're End the Slumber. It was five original tunes, and I was very fortunate that that got to number one in the Irish singer songwriter charts. And the following year, I signed with Gyo Records, which is the home of the first lady of Celtic music, Moira Brennan. Right, that's excellent. Well done, well done on that. That's a, uh, you know, that, that that that's good stuff. And and how has it been going for you since? It's been going good. Um, it it, it feels like I, I'm 29 now, and it feels like we're 20 to come by in a flash because it's just been gigging and touring and recording and releasing music. But again, this is the life that I've always wanted, so I'm very very fortunate. That's excellent. That is excellent. Uh, unfortunately, the, the the problem with the gigging and the touring is with uh, COVID has sort of put a, a temporary uh, stop to that. Yeah, it, it's it's put the kibosh on things to say the least. But it, it also affords musicians an opportunity to revisit the routine. I suppose. I mean, for me, it's put much more of a structure on my writing times and getting involved in other musical extracurricular projects. So there's been there's been a lot of silver linings to it too. Indeed, yes, yes. There's, there's many people have actually found, uh, you know, other things and uh, discovered other things about themselves. Uh, you know, they've created uh, music, they've uh, managed to get their, their music out there, which, uh, you know, they probably possibly wouldn't have otherwise. Absolutely. And, you know, speaking purely for myself, in the early portion of the first lockdown, the great Charlie McGetting got in touch with me and proposed the idea of the two of us writing songs. And, and since that time, I think we've amassed about 40 or 50 tunes and sort of with a view to maybe releasing a record together at the middle portion of this year. So, you know, like I said, there's there's silver linings. Indeed, indeed. So, yeah, I spoke to uh, uh, Charlie McGettigan actually only a few weeks ago uh, on the programme. Uh, one of the uh, one of the all-time greats, been involved in music for just so many, many years. Yeah, and, and one of the nicest guys you'd ever be fortunate enough to meet as well. I mean, from... From the first week that we started to write songs together, he was just so informative. He was so generous with his time, and just he had such a gentle manner. And I, I can, I consider myself hugely fortunate to be working with him. Indeed, it's like, you know, excellent, excellent stuff. Now, listen, you've taken out a couple of uh, songs recently. Uh, Went away and little corner of the moon. That's right. Yeah, yeah. I recorded them just before Christmas, and it was part of a compilation album that Thornton's piano was putting together called the Superior Session. And since that point, I released them myself, and they've received airplay all over Ireland, the United Kingdom. They've, both songs have actually charted the indie charts in Australia, so it's been it's been a good response so far. 
That's excellent. That is excellent. I mean, that, that's a fantastic achievement for self penned compositions. Yeah, I, it, you know, for me, Jerry, it's just hugely flattering when people respond well to the songs, and especially in the present set of circumstances, because there's such an outpouring of music and creative works coming from all over the world. So the fact that people take the time to listen to my stuff is, is hugely flattering. Indeed so, indeed so. Well, we listen, well done on it all. And, uh, you know, it looks, uh, uh, things looking very promising. And uh, no doubt, listen, as soon as it's safe to do so, you'll be back in action on stage once again. I hope so. And I hope, hope that day comes sooner than we anticipate too. Indeed, Colm, this has been lovely to catch up with you. Uh, listen, I wish you all the success in the world. Uh, you know, stay safe and stay well. And fingers crossed, uh, uh, as I say, you'll be back on stage soon as it's safe to do so. And I'll catch up with you along the winding path. Listen, Jerry, thank you so much for talking to me. It's been an absolute pleasure.